Hi everyone, welcome back to our short videos on business studies. Yes, I have taken quite a long break this time and uh, sorry to keep you waiting and um, I'm back, I'm back and I hope um, I'll be able to help you even more this time. Um, the last we completed was on the, um, market research yeah, and we spoke about how the information could be reliable or how could it be ineffective? This time around, we're going to talk about the results of the market research again, yes. And in part two, we're going to look at the data collected and how to analyze it. Now, imagine you have gone out um, and conducted a research here through a save survey of people um, to find out certain information and uh, we're going to take an example about um, you're finding out about how much how many hours do people listen to the radio okay and you've gotten this following information where you have last year's information and this year's information collected from you know people who could remember how many hours they were listening to radio the previous year and this year example and this is the information collected now looking at this this table itself tells you that there's just so many numbers here and how do i analyze this and make more sense right one way to do that is to look at averages right so averages is just to find that middle ground to find that oh what, what is that number that everybody is almost comfortable with or almost doing it at the same time in the sense of number of hours that you do it? And um, one form of average is to look at the mean, right? The mean is something I think that you're comfortable with because it is also quite simple to do. It is putting all the results together and dividing it by the number of the results that you have. So if I look at last year's uh, uh, you know, information on the screen right now, we have a total number of hours of 173 gathered from 20 respondents, 20 people perhaps, yeah, of, of people who participated. And the mean gives me 8.65 hours. So on average, in the form of mean, an individual uh, spends at least 8.65 hours in the year listening to the radio last year, okay? And this year, okay, the number of hours when you total up all the, the information that you have in the this year row, uh, this year, uh, yeah, row, you would see that the number of hours is 192. And the number of results remain the same because there's 20 people who took up this survey. And the mean now has increased to 9.6 hours. Okay, that's because they've listened to more radio in this year compared to last year. Okay, so you find on average it has increased in terms of the mean. Another way to look at uh, averages is to look at the mode. All right, the mode. And the mode here refers to the most recurring number that appears in your set of data. All right. But before you can do that, you'll need to rearrange the information in ascending order, which means from the smallest to the biggest number. So if we were to do that with last year's information, I have rearranged it all here on the screen. You can see that the number that occurs frequently is the number 10. It occurs three times. So the recurring number is 10, which is basically 10 hours, and hence the mode average is 10 hours for last year. So you can see the difference between the mean when you divide it by each number, right? And mode where you pick out the recurring number, okay? Then we also have median, right? We're trying to find the middle number, right? So how do we do that? We have to look at two things first. We have to look at the number of results. We have to determine whether the number of results are falling in the category of an odd or an even number. In this case, 20 is an even number, right? So let's look at the calculation here. The number of results divide by 2. Okay, divide by 2 because it is a uh you know it is an even number right so 20 divided by 2 gives you the 10th result and when you rearrange 
the same way like you did for you know mode you rearranged the data you go to the tenth result you will see that the median is 7.5 hours okay so from mean to mode to median the averages or the answers given to you are different okay let's just look at last year's information 8.65 hours for mean where you divide with the total number of results you know total of results and the number of results mode where you rearrange in ascending order and pick the most recurring number right quite straightforward to do and median where you still arrange in ascending order but what you need to do is determine the number of results whether it's odd or even if it is let's say you know 19 people 19 results then you need to add one to make it even yeah but otherwise it is just um yeah you know an uh, even number divide by two so 20 people divide by two gives you the 10th result and that corresponds with 7.5 hours right so averages whether you use mean mode or median gives you different results to understand on average how many hours do people actually listen to the radio yeah another way to look at this is also to look at the range the range is a difference between the highest and the lowest value that you have in a set of data so if i were to look at last year's information the highest data or amount that we have is 20 hours versus the lowest which is zero hours that means the range is of between 20 hours it's pretty straightforward as well yeah so these are the ways for you to look at um, how to analyze information only in the form of averages where you can look at mean mode median and also talk about the range if you need to uh, of course in exam purposes this is just more for your knowledge and may not uh, appear right in the cie exams but it's good for you to know good for you to take note of you know so that you understand yeah now to test yourself you see the table here again and you're going to calculate the mean mode median and range for this year and last year's but also you're going to interpret the results right what do they mean when you talk about these different hours that you saw just now from each calculation right what does that mean right um why why would it be that certain uh you know results give you different certain calculation gives you different results right and what do you think it means for you know a market researcher to interpret right it shows that last year's you know you have higher uh, average compared to this year or this year higher than last year so what could it mean for a researcher taking that information home, bringing back into the company that they're working for and trying to come up with new marketing strategies to looking at those results, right? There could vary, be various elements why one year is higher than the other or lesser than the other. Perhaps it's due to more advertisements being played or a better radio DJ with a better voice, right? So yeah, all programs that is much more easier for them to listen during peak hours, not peak hours, right? So sometimes what we're trying to get at here is numbers gives you information, but you've got to make more meaning by putting some qualitative information as well. Okay, so you can try this out uh, on your own and try to just uh, look at the results. There's not much information given, of course, just numbers and then, you know, number of people, number of hours. But this means it gives you a lot of creativity to expand your thinking and come up with your own ideas and suggestions. It's just for practice purposes. Yeah. Now we've come to the end of our slide. Hopefully you've picked up the thing or two um, and I'll see you again in the next video. Have a nice day.